Watch each other's asses. I want everyone home alive. Grabbing ammo. Thought that catwalk looked unstable. You'll egress by a different route. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Rearming. I've got you. I am analyzing the control systems. Stand by. I got you. Please, access the primary power regulator. Activate all systems. Full draw. Aid kits here.
course, Augur.
party. We're burning to escape debris scatter. Under my authority, as delegated by the Secretary of the Navy, I have awarded you the Expeditionary Service Ribbon for Heroic Service. Upon loss of contact with a Marine unit, you advanced into a Xenomorph Hive and confirmed the status of three MIAs. You then completed their mission, resulting in the destruction of said Hive. Your boldness and dedication are in keeping with the finest traditions of the Colonial Marine Corps and United America's Armed Services. Given this day, in May 2202, Colonel Olivia Ship, Commanding Officer, 33rd Marine Regiment, 11th Marine Division. Some things don't belong in official reports. Katanga has been a stain on the honor of the Corps for years. If you haven't heard the details yet, don't worry about it. I'll just say I'm personally glad to see the place blown to hell. Report to Lieutenant Santos for debriefing. Dismissed. Bada Bains. Guess we can't call you Boot no more, huh? Hell of a deployment. We found shit Wailing Yutani spent a lot of time and money hiding. Ruins left by aliens that look like us. An orbital refinery used as a Xeno breeding farm. And a lab using tech from the ruins on Xenos from the refinery. We still got a secure LV-895 in the alien ruins. There's Xenos and mutants running loose down there. Normally, we carpet nuke the place. Ruins be damned, but Doc Hanukkah says that can make things worse. Spray that pathogen shit all over the damn moon. Near term, we're gonna hold orbit. Keep this shit locked down. I'll bet my ample Marine paycheck they're on their way here right now. They'll send military contractors, dog catcher units, lawyers. Maybe they'll talk. Maybe they'll just start shooting. But that ain't all we gotta worry about. Doc Hanukkah says some rival company to Wailing Yutani sabotaged Palace Station. Whoever that was, if they heard his mayday, they might be on their way here too. Eh, shit's gonna get real interesting right here. Hey, I'm hearing scuttlebutt around the squad bay. Talk that maybe Colonel Ship took this too far. We could have quarantined Katanga, right? Called in more ships? Listen, the Colonel knows about everything people know about Xenos. How they react, how their guts work. She knew that before she joined the Corps. When she was a teenager, she survived a Xeno outbreak. Little outlier colony, you would never heard of it. One thing she'll always hold to, gotta kill them fast. The longer you wait, the more chance they got to spread. I don't know all the details, and you know what? It ain't my place to ask, but I do know she got a twin sister, Viola. Oh, so ship went into a goddamn hive to rescue her. That's how she learned some of the shit she know about Xenos, watching close range from inside. Maybe, but by the time a battle group got here, Wailing Yutani would have their people in system, executives and dark catcher teams, mercenaries, and lawyers. They find something to sight that the Colonel don't got authority to override, Colonial Protection Act or not. 
The they swagger aboard Katanga or land on LV-895 and fuck it all up real good. Xenos find ways. They hide, go where humans can't, tight spaces, vacuum, deep cold. Wait for their chance. Come when you ain't looking and don't expect them. But just don't go bringing it up with herself. Do sabe? Colonels ain't in the habit of explaining themselves to grunts. Yo, this just between you and me.